our fiberless mangoes and some dry ice we got from an order of fresh cat food. Has nothing to do with the story, but it's kind of cool. Here's an example of kind of when we pick them versus when we cut them. So they've been sitting on the counter for a few days, so you can see the, the color difference between them, especially in the Julie mango. That thing really uh, starts to deteriorate quickly. Some people will say the Julie and the Carrie will be somewhat off-putting flavors as they over-ripen. Actually, we like it when it's over-ripened. So, you know, mangoes are purely a taste thing. Some people love them at certain stages. Other people hate them at certain stages. You can see this, Julie, some might say is a little over-ripened. You can see how the, uh, the flesh is kind of pulled apart a little bit. But uh, it's really, it tasted perfect. The taste on this is a little complex. Some people say it has a little bit of coconut in it. People have it a hard time to describe it. But it is uh, probably our favorite mango by far. Um, unfortunately, it's also the smallest mango by far. So you got to get what you get. The next one here is the Kerry mango. Ironically, the Kerry mango is a descendant of the Julie mango. Uh, they say it's kind of back in the 40s when this was kind of developed as a seedling and the carry name came from the mom of the developer, Zill, who uh, grew this seedling and introduced this uh, flavor profile into the market. It's uh, also another complex one, has hints of coconut and some other tropical flavors, not dissimilar to the Julie. The last in the group is the Cogshaw, or Cogs Hall mango. I never could get the pronunciation right. This one is probably the most akin to your traditional mango taste. Um, where other ones might have a hint of coconut, and there's a lot of mangoes that have a hint of different flavors like orange sherbet, lemon zest, and all those things that have other tropical flavors in it. The Cogshaw is pretty much your mainstream mango flavor. The reason I grew all these mangoes is because of their fiberless nature. I know the Carrie and the uh, Julie are such close in family that the flavors are pretty similar. But all in all, these are great mangoes to grow in your yard. The fiberless nature, they can't even hold on to a knife. <laughs> you poke it and try and hold it up, it just falls right through. So the eatability of these things is excellent. Also, the trees themselves are super manageable. The, uh, the Julie being the smallest mango also is the smallest tree. That thing's a mini tree. Uh, the carry and the Cogshaw can get bigger. You'll have to trim that one up a whole lot more than the Julie, but all in all, these are some great mangoes to grow. Anyway, we'll see you later.